Mr. Cotino, uh, you've been running the bookshop half for how many years? Last 30 years. 30? 30 years. Zero. Since, since, since which year? I was earlier working for Franco India. Little I, louder. And I came to war. Working for? I was Franco India. Franco India. Yeah. What is that? Sorry. Pharmaceutical cancer. Oh, but I was a clerical side. And I came back because my father was little ill. My father was ill. 60s? Yeah. And he wanted me to see me before he closed his eye. So definitely I uh, made Hindi it. And, English. and no, I did. I Your father did. was already running the business then? He was working for, you can say, only one English daily was there, Navin time. And he was collecting ads for? For them? For, for Navin time. So that is called as advertising, which we still continue. And <laughs> now I started the bookshop. But before the bookshop and after advertising, you went into furniture rentals ah, and other things, no? Yes, yes. That story you have told me. Uh, it so happened that when I came back, I, there was one customer, not customer, a friend of my father. Who took furniture from him and paid some rent for him. That struck me, so why not go a little deeper? And I started a workshop in carpentry. I see. Kunkoli? I wanted to keep myself busy. Kunkoli? I started a bookshop here only. This was Marka. the very place where I started the bookshop. This was not there. Workshop. 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 Yeah. For carpentry. For carpentry. Nice. Very enterprising. <laughs> because in those days, in the 60s, there were a lot of officers who were coming in Goa and settling here for short stays, you were telling me. Uh, yeah. What happened? This something my father started, so I took it up as a challenge. And uh, rather, I had no competitor at that time. No? Competitor, no competition. Ah. Uh, I was the only advertising I see. <laughs> man in South, South Goa. Goa. And uh, Navin Times gave me full hearted cooperation, accept me as if I am the man, and encouraged me to collect ads. So that way I grew. That time I, <laughs> I did grow up in advertising section. On advertising? Yeah, more because of Navin Times. They wanted a man and they found me as a tool in that condition. And in, in Panjim, your brother? Uh, my brother. Yeah. Later on, my brother was already in, in sort of this. But he did not like to come near his father because he wanted to have a... Independent. A independent, happy go lucky fellow. <laughs> Took up to some drinks also. And he became sick. He was, he is, uh, your, uh, he is Wahlberg. I'm Wahlberg. You're Wahlberg. I'm yeah. He is? Busse. Busse, Busse. 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 He expired. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Busse, yeah. Busse, yeah. Busse, yeah. Busse, yeah. Of liver problem. Yeah, yeah. I knew him. Uh, he was very close to us because in Herald, the lanes were close to that, no? to their office. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. It's okay. So, 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 so you started the bookshop exactly in which year? When did I start the bookshop? 70s? 78? Yeah, 69, 70, correct. And uh, bookshop, oh, sorry, I'm talking about First January 70. First January? 70. 70. First January 1970? 69, you can see. So 50 years have passed. 50 years have passed. Yes, yes. What, what prompted you to start it? Why you started the bookshop? And when I was giving furniture and rent, yeah. <laughs> came one of the customers and said, you are giving furniture and I. What about giving us also books? I think he was a reader and book lover, so to say. And he encouraged me, why not? 
So I started with sound selection and it grew into the the biggest bookshop in Goa. I grew up to become one of the biggest bookshop. But if I say that our friend Khalil will get angry with me and when I call him the biggest then you get angry with me. He was not there. He the was period. not there, of course. He was. Course. He came in the 90s. Yeah. He came much later. Yeah. And he was uh, actually. I also was connected with with UBS. UBS. Shetty. Shetty. He was working for Shetty, and there I could say some tactics. Shetty was very kind, and he also helped me because in I was up the only. Stock. Okay. Yeah. And thereafter Kali left and he also joined. Started his own. Of course, we are we are all one big fraternity. So in that sense, uh, there is a lot of giving and taking. And uh, we joke about who is the biggest. But of course, your place is is also it's difficult to compare which between yours and Broadway's. But uh, it is it is huge in its own size. There are many rooms to this. Yeah, yeah. This was a house. Right? Whose house? We, which who was the owner? Uh, one Mr. Bragasa from Pomba. He now he sold it to me in the end. So you converted the house into the bookshop. The bookshop. And I built another bungalow for me. Yeah. yeah. And followed by another bungalow. <laughs> but first you were staying here? I was staying here. This I was see. my residence. I see. And above what happened was my, you know how it is, we accommodated. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, you have seen books growing over the years. You also ran a very successful library, and many uh, students. I was the first library in Goa. First library in Goa. Yeah. And then all of those Seco and uh, Avanti and all came later. The lending libraries, private commercial libraries, yeah. they came later. They came later. Even government did not have any yeah. library. Except the municipal libraries, which were mostly yeah. on newspapers, yeah. newspapers, exactly. yeah. not on books. Not. <laughs> Maybe Atayed or something like that, but they were not up to date and they were very boring. They had a limited choice and everyone preferred the private libraries like yours. It was like that. In Portuguese time, he never liked anybody going for books. Yeah? Because of censorship and all that? Uh, because what happened when you have freedom of thought, thought. you start getting subversive uh, ideas. Yeah. Dictatorship, dictatorship doesn't survive right yeah. now. They didn't want it. Uh, they, uh, they were monopolized people, dictators sort of. Yeah. So even if I come from Bombay at that part of time, if I have a paper like this inside, yeah. they yeah. should throw it out. I see. Put it in yeah. They never wanted any papers. I see. Uh, because it could spread they uh, wrong want ideas to keep us like parrots in the yeah. <laughs> cage. In the cage. So. Making us a voracious reader would not be helpful Correct. to them. So they never encouraged me. So before you started the bookshop, which were the bookshops in Goa? There are a lot of presses here, I know, popular and all that in this locality. But which were the bookshops before you? Before me, Portuguese. TG Borkar was there. Textbooks only they were there. And there was one more fellow. Little down near the railway station. Station road. Uh, station road. Station road. Station yeah. road. It was the end of the British. They were also selling textbooks. I see. What were the toughest thing of your business so far? What were the toughest things with your business so far? Well, I'm an enterprising man. I never take anything as I like to do everything as a he challenge. Yeah. So, furniture, I give up because all my carpenters mostly went abroad and what not things. Carpenters were mostly from Salset, Benauli, those villages, or Benauli, Kunkoli? Benauli, Benauli. 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 You had good carpenters from there? We had there yeah, once upon a time. And, all carpenters in Goa, or they used to prepare furniture only for the fair. They were not happy to take orders. And they did not know how to calculate. I see. So when I took over, I brought a little of, you know, working model to find out the cost of a 
table, a chair, wow. or whatever it is, whatever in the order of it. Yeah. And they found me with the cheapest <laughs> room. Because I worked on little, this one. Turn over. This was just a pile, whatever was coming. But I see. I see. So, working on technical basis, I did it well. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. As far as uh, the books are concerned, you feel that people in Goa like to read or don't like to read? Oh, I beg your pardon, what is Do people it? like to read books in Goa? Now, slowly they are taking up. The boys, new children. When I started the library, all schools, be loyal, our presentation, popular, everybody said, <coughs> go to our library. Confident. Confident okay. library. And read books. They didn't have their own library and all. I much. see. They not, yeah, at least there was no much choice for them. I don't know if you heard this story, but both uh, Leonard and Queenie, who run the neighboring bookshop, Dog Years, rival bookshop, they said that they used to come to your library and they probably even met up here, that's what they told me. <laughs> Leonard and Queenie. I mean, many, many of them, they used to wait, they used to wait till when you opened and yeah. never saw much. Till now. Till now people wait? Yes. Wait, wait? Yes. Now, library now as good as proof. Because this government, what they've done, yeah. they have imposed 12% GST on Printing. Books. Printing. Li library books. Really? Yeah. Library or printing? No, library books. I see. So, that was very economical. As it is, uh, not much with people. Earlier people, is to encourage us to yeah. make books available. This man, our <laughs> yeah, he our great friend, Goyal oh. Apoito. Yeah, even even printing is 18% GST now. That's the problem we are facing. A lot of pressures. Uh, useless people. They have no respect. They don't understand what is socially desirable. The beautiful thing about it is that when there was uh, this corona virus yeah. coming, yeah. he told people take the and make noise. <laughs> corona virus is go away. That was the funniest part of it. <laughs> what is the funniest part of books? What do you find uh, the most interesting part with dealing with books? People were so happy with me, they encouraged me, and they said our children <laughs> have much benefit. Even those people who went abroad and all, when they come back, they come and visit us. I see. Your made a difference in our life. You have played a big social role. You have played a big social role in. in there are no other people also in the library field. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, how it is. I believe in giving something to the children of life. You are very generous. You are very generous and you are very uh, religious person. Would that be right? You are religious also? Okay. You can see whatever it is. Always, always uh, supporting a good cause. I see. Uh, what 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 would you like to be remembered for the bookshop? What do you think that confidant should be remembered for? Now I'm going to protect book section. Otherwise, I have to bring all sort of books, whatever. Say, be it, be it uh, any writer, Alfred Hitchcock, and if it's Sogolim, who come I have to go. I see. And uh, the principals of the school also used to help me bring this. Uh, I used to bring. From Bombay? From Bombay? Yeah. Books, so what happened once they are available, all those representatives of books company, yeah. special general book, yeah. come to go. Yeah. They used to visit me and take orders. I see. And uh, being the only fellow, they were uh, not concerned, like in a small quantity of books. Yeah. They should bring and send them because they found an outlet in Goa. I see. Which was not there. So we help each other and I see. Take a birthday.
Very interesting. Why the name Confidant? Confidant? Why the name? Confidant uh, was started by my father. This name also. He is a... And he started selling antique furniture. Some people like, uh, I mean, this language, they don't like to see that they are selling. They say, oh, for well, long, come on, come on. <laughs> you know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. So they used to give it to me to sell it. I see. Yeah. Not me, I was not the person at all, my father. I see. And he understood something about uh, antiques and all. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he had a uh, good business for like, Confident is a name which is uh, there for... Confident is a name, is a person you can trust. Confident. Okay, okay, okay. In the antique furniture, okay. you must have a person you can trust. I see. So they had great faith in our trust. Well, they met their father. So he loved to deal with him, so he didn't do much business and such. But he wanted a person whom they can trust. And, and they found my father to be the right man. So interesting, so interesting. I won't uh, take your time more, but I'll just take my camera inside and uh, just go. Thank you. These are textbooks. These are second hand books. I have not been to the second hand section for long. Textbooks. Bye. Tumi poita. Ha. Na bistes. Textbooks ogle. Ogle textbooks. Bistes maashe dakte video karta. Goa board NCST and ICSC. Ogle. Delhi board. Oh, Delhi board. Those are the textbooks. These are the second-hand books. You'll find in a lot of languages, French, Russian, German. <coughs> don't worry, don't worry, Mrs. Coutinho. It's still a treasure. It's still a treasure. I know, I know, I know. No, but this is... Uh, yeah, I'll go inside to the Goa book section, which is my favorite, of course. Come. She forgot me by now. Sima Sang, no one can tell you. You have a very, very big Goa section. Huh? So today I'm here. Russia, a short history. I was Goa section. Who is Paul Lego boy? Ah, Goa yes side Russia. You always find some books which no one knows. This is here. How many books on Goa you have, Sima? Kitle Sumar? Tinchi Charshi? Astele? Panchi Soshi? Huh? How is Kubasa? Tumi Dorit Rauta, ne? I am Che Kodena. Stray mango branches, Munta Pete. Very nice. book uh, History of Goa. No, and of all the titles. Like novels, genre. Novels. Ani of all the of all the sections, you have Goa, you have children, you have textbooks. Textbooks. Uh, you have second hand books, you have cards. Magazines are few. Yeah. Magazines are few. Which is the most popular section for most of the readers? Of course, textbooks during school years, okay. during school time. Novels. Novels. Yeah. Children's section. Children's is popular. Yeah. Novels. Stories. Kokni. 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 Aha. Kui ha section da kuta mashe. How many years are you here, sir? 18 years. 18 years? This is the Kokni section. Kokni section. Roman, Kokni all here. Yes, okay, Roman. Yes, okay, Roman. Ah, boy, Pongkusa in today. 
many of them the books they just come and potta tanga surna no one even no one notices them shukri mari very interesting thank you ah huh? thank you thank you come on yeah so that's it